your eyes on the prize. Hold on. Hold on. As an airport worker, I'm proud to come together as part of the growing movement of workers fighting for $15 an hour and a unit. Like many other airport workers, I make only minimum wage and no benefits. When I look at the fight of fast food workers, I see my fight. We live in the same community. We suffer the same problems, and that's why we are all determined to come to make a change. I've been a home care worker for three years, and my the minimum wage that we're making is awful. I will be standing with the fast food workers for all around the world, standing out there to fight for 15 in the union. When I heard about the strike in the US, I was actually very surprised because in Denmark, where I came, come from, um, we don't have strike because we actually have a good agreement with McDonald's. Our salary is on $21 and if you are under 18, it's on $15. G'day guys, my name is Ian Lees Galloway. I'm a member of parliament in New Zealand and I'm the Labour Party's industrial relations spokesperson. Uh, it's been really great hanging out with the Fight for 15 uh, crew over the last couple of days. Uh, I want to wish you all the best for everything that you're doing. It's really fantastic to see workers standing up for their rights and taking their fight to the streets and getting the public on board and getting the politicians on board as well. As you can see behind us, we've got a few fights here in Palmerston North as well. And it's uh, a fight that we have in solidarity with you guys and workers around the world. So all the best. We're right there alongside you. Uh, and let's make sure that workers, wherever they are, get the fair rights that they deserve. They say it back in the 60s that we couldn't win that we couldn't get a civil rights act, that we couldn't get a voting rights act, we couldn't get a fair housing act, but we did it! We did it! And sometimes you have to use your marching feet, and sometimes you have to make a little noise. When I spoke at the march on Saturday, I said we need to make some noise. And sometimes we're too quiet. And sometimes you have to find a way to make a way out of no way. Sometimes you had to find a way to get in the way. Yeah. Now I know some of your co-workers may be a little afraid. But you must tell them, don't be afraid. Be a good courage. We must remember that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on April 4th, 1968 died in Memphis trying to help the sanitation workers. And that's what it's all about. Some people are getting richer and richer and doing better and doing better 
and others are getting poor and poor. That's not right. It's not right. That's not fair. That's not just. No. So go, get out there. Keep walking, keep marching, keep talking, keep pushing, and keep pulling. And you will have a great victory, and you can count on my help.